Good afternoon, or rather good morning. <clears throat> I trust that you're having a productive and a wonderful Saturday and that you're enjoying uh, the blessings that God continues to give to us on a daily basis. Uh, certainly, uh, life, health, and strength is one of those uh, core blessings that I think all of us can richly enjoy. I wanted to, just for a few moments, uh, just to share a brief word with you, and uh, that is just simply the idea of waiting, uh, waiting on the Lord, being patient, and uh, the, the scripture instructs us out of Psalm 27, in verse number 14, it says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. One of the hardest things, I think, in the Christian life is for us to wait, to be patient, particularly when it is something that we want and we feel that we need it now. One of the things I've discovered about uh, God and His purposes and how He works in His own sovereignty is that there is a purpose behind God uh, destined, dest uh, putting certain time restrictions on our blessings. That is, God will not allow us to get the things that we want now and in our own time frame because many times we are not mature enough to handle them. But in many, many ways, it does not mean that God has said no. It just means that God has just said wait. And so, uh, I, you know, and many times you look at, you look at, um, uh, we look at an example, my mother and my father were notorious in making promises and they knew I was very rather unpatient and they knew I, I was not one who liked to wait and so they would tell me in October you know you if you do such and such in December you're going to receive these gifts now of course I did what I had to do and was obedient uh, Sometimes and other times probably wasn't, but for the most part I was obedient, did what I had to do, um, and then. But the, the 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 issue that I had was waiting until the time to get the blessing. Um, that even came down to down to Christmas night, when the gifts were downstairs and you were not allowed to go and open the gifts until a certain time. Um, I had trouble sleeping because there was this anticipation. And many times that's how we are in our Christian world, where we want to open up the, we want to lock hold of the blessings. We want to lay hold of all those rich benefits that come with being a believer. But God says to us, nah, wait. And so, but the reality is, the good news is, that even in the midst of our waiting, it does not mean we're not going to get it. It just means be patient. So, be wait on the Lord. And be of good courage while you're waiting. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Let me share with you that tomorrow is Sunday. Today is Saturday, April the 13th, 2013. Um, tomorrow is Sunday. Please find yourself in a place of worship. If you do not have a place to worship the New Hope Temple Baptist Church in Philadelphia, PA, 19147, where our pastor is the Reverend Dr. John Coger, we would be glad to have you as a guest and potentially as a member um, we would love to have you if you don't have a place to worship you don't have a place to go come on by our services are at 745 and then again at 10 a.m. we will also be celebrating the Lord's table tomorrow and also uh, baptism oh, what a glorious time to celebrate our faith uh, and so won't you join us on tomorrow let me also put a bug in your ear a little bit uh, in June, June the 19th to the 21st, knock it on your calendar, June 19th through the 21st, that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at the New Light Beulah Baptist Church, 1701 Bainbridge Street, uh, 19146, where the distinguished uh, Bishop uh, Benjamin Thompson III is the pastor. There will be a great revival going on there. And so it's a youth revival. Um, there will be some great preaching, great gospel music, and great ministry as we will explore the theme of maximizing who I am in Christ. 
Listen, you don't want to miss. Oh, more information will be pending, but you don't want to miss that great event. It's going to be epic. So please, ma'am, please, sir, put that on your calendar. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's going to be great. Great three days packed with great ministry, great preaching, and I guarantee you it's going to be life-changing. All right? Well, Lord bless you. Until we meet again, peace.